is talking to spirits, laughing with ghosts, and I'm here to do pick a card reading. <laughs> so today we're going to be doing a pick a card reading. This is going to be pile one, this is pile two, and this is pile three. We have green aventurine, peach uh, selenite, and fluorite. All right, so if you need to pause this video, meditate on it, um, on which one you know you want to choose, go for it. This pick a card reading is going to be not only about love, um, finding somebody, how is that person with you know that you're with now, things like that, but it's also going to be a little bit of guidance and messages that we have from our angels and our ancestors as well. Okay. So if you're new here, hi, welcome. Thank you for joining us. If you guys could please hit that subscribe button, make sure you guys turn your notifications on so you guys see my videos when they come out and hit that like button. It really does help my channel out with the algorithm. It's a free way to help support me and my channel to keep it going. You know what I mean? Comment down below, let me know how your day is going. So without further ado, let's dive into this. We're gonna start with group one, which is the green adventuring. So I'm gonna set two and three to the side. Let's see what we have. Move this out of the way. Okay, so we have success, weight. We have the trader, exchange energy to create abundance. Energy is low, I'm picking that up. You feel tired, groggy, I wanna yawn. All of a sudden, so get that energy level up. Drop your shields. You guys are being too, you know, closed off, and that's not gonna bring you success. Okay. Um, you also have you deserve love. All right. You are lovable. You also have children play a factor in this. Okay. So either you're acting like a child, being closed off, or somebody that you're with, or that you know, or that you're around is acting like a child. They're closed off, or just children are a factor and you being closed off in your energy um, being low, okay? The message here, one is to drop your shields, exchange energy to create abundance, okay? What does that mean? When you are around people who have great energy, they're upbeat, right? Their vibrations are raised, they're not negative about everything, that then creates you to be that same way, right? Like, I wanna be positive, I want great things to happen, right? You start, you start setting these intentions and you're manifesting it, right? And then you start changing, your attitude starts changing, okay? So that's something group one that you guys need to work on. Even with the relationship, you deserve love. Children are a factor in that. But until you change your energy, until you change your mindset, right? It's not going to work out. So it says right here, you do the waiting game, work on yourself, or, you know, with your partner, you guys work on the way that you guys perceive things, the way that you guys look at things, you will have success in the end. Okay. So this is all about group one. This is, there's a lot going on group one. You guys are very closed off. Okay. Exchange energy, energy to create abundance. Think about that for a minute. Exchange energy, energy to create abundance. So if you're wanting something to happen, if you're wanting something to work out, then you have to change your energy about it. If you sit there and you're just like, hmm, nah, I'm just not feeling it, or I'm too lazy to do this, or I'm too lazy to do that, right? Like you just don't feel like it, or it's never gonna get done. It's like saying, eh, the dishes are piling up. Oh, now they've been piling up for two weeks. They stink and I don't wanna do them. You know what I mean? If you would've just taken that time to just do them right then, you wouldn't have dishes that are piled up, if that makes sense. You know what I mean? Okay, um, your love life is being affected by children. Like I said, I feel like, and I keep seeing that you're basically acting like a child, okay? Or somebody around you is acting like a child. Could be your partner, you know, could be your roommate. Somebody's acting like a child and you're just sick of it. You're around this energy, okay? Or if it's you, you're putting off this energy, childish energy, and you're not gonna move forward. You're not gonna have that success. You're always gonna have this waiting game and you're not gonna move forward. You're gonna be in the same boat every time, guys, every time, okay? Drop your shields. This is learn to talk about it. Change your ways. Learn to talk about how you feel, what's going on, how can we change this, you know? How can we move forward and be in a better mindset, be in a better place, okay? You deserve love, absolutely. So if you're single and you're thinking like, eh, everybody's the same, right? You're thinking like this, 
everybody's the same. I'm sick of guys. I'm sick of girls. This is always what happens. You're going to be having that waiting game. You change that mindset, change your ways, then you'll come into, boom, being successful. Okay? So, group one, that is something that you guys need to work on. Um, a good way for that is just write down five things that you're thankful for, okay? Every day. Meditate on that. Start your day off positive, right? Wake up in the morning and say to yourself, don't say to yourself, oh, well, you know, I got to go to work and I don't want to. Start your day off being like, okay, five things I'm grateful for. Boom, 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 and boom, right? You put yourself in that mindset and then, and then everything starts flowing because you're in a good mood, all right? So group one, it was a great reading. Um, I just feel like you guys are a, a lot into maybe there's negative people around you, okay? Or you're just being a negative Nelly, but in order to move forward, you really have to change your ways, work on it, and I think that it's going to be fine. The biggest thing that sticks out to me is exchange your energy to create abundance, okay? Exchange your energy to create abundance, all right? That's the main card that sticks out here for me. That's the main message to you guys um, in group one, okay? So, group two, uh, selenite. I almost forgot. Peach selenite, group two. What are your messages? Ask your angels a year from now. You also have the animal guardian. Trust your instincts. Earth guardian. Stay rooted and grounded. Forgiving and learning. And wedding. Okay. <clears throat> so forgiving and learning. As you release and heal the past, you experience more love in your present moments. Okay? As you release this. This is forgiving and learning. As you release this, then you have a year from now. Boom, right up on top of it. All right? So a year from now, once you learn to do this, release your past, okay? Then a year from now, one, could be a wedding involved, okay? Or you're going to find your partner, you know, that you want to be with. Or if you're already married, it's going to help this much, this marriage, that much better because you're holding on to things okay you're holding on to regret you're holding on to guilt you're holding on to anger whatever it may be that you're holding on to you're not going to move past this it's going to take about a year for you to truly work on yourself okay saying hey if you don't know how to do that ask your angels but you already know with your instincts okay so you need to use your instincts to move forward, to learn to forgive. Maybe you need to forgive yourself for something, right? So you have instincts here that you need to put in play, but you're not, it's like you're just ignoring it, right? Like you just, you're just like, eh, whatever. Stay rooted and grounded. All right, guys? This is a big thing for people that when they're feeling down or they're feeling a certain type of way, they have no motivation or you're just like pissy, you're just in a bad mood, chances are it's because you are not grounded, okay? Being grounded is pretty much everything. If I didn't stay grounded, I would be a wreck, a wreck. For me, you know, people are like, hey, go hug a tree, go step outside on the grass. Yeah, that's great. That works, trust me. But for me personally, being a water sign and being a medium, um, I, I, it doesn't work a hundred percent for me. I need more. Not only do I need to go hug trees and go walk out in the grass barefoot, but I also have to go take a bath. Okay. I have to go take that Epsom salt bath, um, to help me just get grounded, release everything so I can move forward. You know what I mean? So for you guys, a big factor in this, the message to you guys is definitely staying grounded, getting grounded, learning what works for you, okay? You can watch all these videos about go hug a tree, go in the, you know, go get in the grass, balance your chakras. Yes, that's great, but it's like, okay, if you've done that and it hasn't worked for you, then you need to find something else that does. For me, I have to do all of those things and I have to take a bath as well, okay? So that was my key thing. Also, 
what people don't know is you really need to, let's say that, um, you know, you've had a stressful day at work or whatever it may be, okay? Another way to stay grounded, and, and it took me a while to figure this one out because I was like, gosh, my energy is still so drained. I'm doing everything. I'm taking a bath. I'm out, you know, in nature. I'm doing everything that I can. I'm lining my chakras, so on and so forth, but yet I'm just still so drained. Well, hello, light bulb. I forgot. Call back your energy. Okay, make sure that you are calling back your energy. Say, listen, I call back all my energy to me, give it all back, take away what's not mine. Because what you don't realize is you start getting other people's energy, right? It'll attach to you, people that you're around. If you're at work, you're on the phone, whatever it may be, you're getting all this other energy and it'll be draining your energy. So make sure that you guys are calling back your energy, okay? So a year from now, for you guys, um, with this card, I love this card a year from now. I forgot actually that this was in the deck. But a year from now, I think that you guys are going to figure out and really transform and really work on being grounded, working with the angels, because you have the card of Ask Your Angels, okay, group two? So for you guys, angels are a really big factor for you, all right? You can call upon Archangel Metatron, Archangel Michael, you know, Gabriel. You can look them up if you aren't sure. The main ones that I work with is Metatron and Michael. Um, I use Metatron for time, use Michael for protection, guidance, things of that nature, okay? Trust your instincts. You guys already know what has to be done, okay? You guys have to know, or you guys know what has to be done. So don't be second guessing yourself. Just do, 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 right? Just do it. And then that way there, you guys will get to this forgiving and you're also gonna have a learning curve on it. And then you have the wedding factor that comes in. So you're gonna have all the bells and whistles that come into your life afterwards. Okay, group two, I love this reading so much, group two. So let me know in the comments below if you pick group two and how that um, pertains to you. All right, group three, we've got the fluorite. Let me grab the cards. Let's see, Ooh. first card, group three, no. Well, if you're asking a question right now, no. The answer is no. How funny. That's a really, really good card. Um, helpful people. Okay, so right off the bat, I feel like you guys are being taken advantage of and you guys do not know how to say no. All right, group three, you guys are being taken advantage of. That is what spirit is telling me right now. Um, you also have the night. Be brave and honest. Okay, be brave and honest. Again, bringing it back to you guys are being taken advantage of. Whew, we're only three cards in and I'm already feeling like drained from you guys. You also have Father Sky, trust in the unknown. Okay, trust in the unknown, trust in the universe. Trust that whatever is happening is happening for a reason. You may not know it yet, you may not agree with it, but trust and believe that. I love that. Okay, you also have soulmate. Yes, this is your soulmate. I love, I love the fact that we have the card no, and then we have yes, this is your soulmate. Like, which one is it? But we have, we have a couple different messages here. So we have soulmate, and then it is safe for you to love. So you guys are holding yourself off for love, okay? You guys are, have had some stuff that's probably happened in the past, okay? And you guys are like, you know what? I really like this person. I just feel so different about them but I just, I'm just shut off, right? It's okay, okay? This is saying it's okay. What's not okay is people taking advantage of you. See, we have a card here, helpful people and no. What's not okay is people taking advantage of you. So maybe you're now in this relationship, right? And they're not taking advantage of you and then you're like, well, is that normal? Like, what, is this real? Is this real life? You know, and you guys deserve that. So you guys really have to, um, what was I going to say? I just lost my th train of thought because I got another one and about this one about be brave and be honest, move forward. It's okay to move forward. Be honest with this person. Let them know how you truly feel. If you have doubt or if you're going through people who use you and they don't tell them, this is how I feel. So it's like weird for me for this to happen. You know what I mean? but stop letting people take advantage of you. Maybe people are putting stuff in your head about this person. Maybe they feel a certain type of way and you're just like, you know what? I don't feel like that. I feel like this. Get those negative thoughts. Say no to people who are not on your team. It doesn't mean that they have to agree with everything that you say, but 
you always have some people in your life, they don't want you to succeed. You know what I'm saying? I have this saying, everybody wants what you want, but they don't want to work for it. This came to mind because I just feel like in this being taken advantage of, right? Everybody think about that. If you are being taken advantage of and you have people that only come to you if they want money, right? Or they, let's say that they say things like, um, gosh, you know, I just wish that I could afford to buy that. I wish I could get this, right? And you're over here working your little tushy off and you've been saving up for it, okay? You've been saving up for this and you buy it, and then they're trying to make you feel guilty because they're broke because they spent their money on God knows what. Th that That's a user. That's that everybody wants what you want, but they don't want to work for it. Think about that. Everybody wants what you want but they don't want to work for it. So they want these nice things. They want to be able to, you know, buy things or spend money, but they don't want to put the work in and they don't want to see what all you had to do to get there. They don't want to see that you worked your butt off and saved your money instead of going out, let's say partying or spending money on fast food or restaurants or whatever, right? Or buying little things at a time. You saved up to make this big purchase or you saved up to buy yourself a car, you saved up to buy yourself a phone or whatever it may be. And maybe you're not having problems with your bills, right? But they are, but you save for that and you didn't go out and be, um, you know, careless and reckless with your money. And now they're just like, wanna make you feel a certain type of way. Like you should feel obligated to help them. These two cards right here, if I could pick them up, it's, I can't get it. I can't get it. These two cards are right here saying no. You stop giving in. It's okay to help people if you want to give them advice. But if they want it for the money, like if they want you to help them with money, you say no because they have to learn a lesson themselves. How are they going to learn a lesson if you just keep helping them and keep doing for them? Okay, that's the biggest thing that I see here in these cards. As far as love goes, boom, boom. Take that chance. Take that risk. If you're already with somebody, boom, hello. Okay, you guys just have to be more brave, more honest about things. And that goes with also saying no. Trust in the unknown and let it let the universe work for you. Okay, let the universe do its thing. All right, so group three, I love this reading too for you guys. I hope that you guys can work on that because um, it's going to be good. It's going to be good, group three. So with that being said, I know that a lot of you guys ask me about my cards. Where do I get them from? Um, I actually used a few decks. I used um, this one right here is called Angel Answers, okay? Here's the box. Looks like this, all right? I'll link them below for you guys if you guys are interested or you guys want to get those. Um, also, I used the Kyle Gray deck today, Angels and, Air and Ancestors Oracle Cards. Can't talk, Oracle Cards. And then the last deck that I used was um, the Romance deck. The back of the cards look like this. I don't have the box right here right now. So I'll link those down below in the description if you guys are interested in those. Um, and hey, I hope that you guys enjoyed these readings. And let me know in the comments below what you guys think. And I'll catch you guys on the next one. Bye-bye. <laughs>